are at week three of the challenge. Now, if you're just joining us or still thinking about getting started, give me a call. Remember, this is not an all or nothing program. It's about building lifelong healthy habits that can be started anytime. Well, that being said, let's get into our next fitness exercise today. It's going to be the push-up. Remember, the push-up is another compound movement, kind of like the squat, but it's going to strengthen our arms, our chest, our back, and our shoulders. And if you do it properly, you get to strengthen your core. Added bonus, right? So, Tony will be here to demonstrate the push-up. Remember to choose a position that best fits your ability, because we all can do the push-up. Hey guys, Tony here from the Westfield YMCA, here to show you this week's workout challenge. This week we're going to be doing the push-up. It is a great exercise for our shoulders, chest, and core. We're going to go through three different modifications from easiest to most difficult, and I'm going to help you demonstrate those now. So the first and easiest version of the push-up is going to be a wall push-up. We're going to set those hands up shoulder width apart, walk those feet back, and we're going to bend at the elbows, bringing ourselves into the wall. We can make this easier or more difficult just by moving our feet. The closer we are to the wall, the easier this becomes. It's less of my body weight I have to push. Or we can make our way down the wall for a little bit of a challenge. Next, we're gonna move into the modified push-up. We're gonna be on our knees. Body's gonna be nice and straight. We're gonna set our hands up shoulder width apart directly underneath our shoulders. Body remains straight. And we're gonna come about an inch or two from the floor and back up. And again, range of motion will always come. The last version, the most difficult, is a regular old-fashioned push-up. Body's going to remain nice and straight. We're going to suck our belly button into our spine, keeping a nice straight back. Hi. Let's begin our third week of our nutritional challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge this week. It's mindful eating. Now, mindful eating means to be fully attentive to your food by eating really slow and without distractions. Now, kind of take a moment. Think about how do you eat your meals. If you're anything like me, you're eating your meals way too quickly and you're kind of probably mindlessly snacking. Well, to help you eat your meal for 30 minutes, use your senses to practice small mindful bites. So, kind of start asking yourself, what color is it? What shape is it? Is there anything in particular about your food that stands out? You might want to savor that piece of food on your tongue before you actually chew and swallow. And you should actually ask and feel the texture of that food. So as you increase the practice of mindful eating, you will begin to appreciate your food and gain control of your eating habits. For additional assistance, join our Zoom seminar with Jackie Campbell. She's our Big Wise Registered Dietitian on Monday, March 8th at 1 p.m.